I, I'm the sort of person who cares about contributing and sort of pushing things forward and making a difference. Well, I came directly from industry, so I'd worked for a few years, and what was really appealing to me was the actual format of the PhD. I wanted to explore how the physics mindset could perhaps be applied in other areas of science. I wanted to be an interdisciplinary scientist, really. That was my main focus. The first year was just absolutely brilliant. I, I was really just motivated by all the courses. It was very, very new and, and we had a lot, of, a lot of opportunities to kind of drive forward what we thought the centre should be. It's a really motivating and kind of inspiring environment to be around other people that are as inquisitive as you are. I just really enjoyed the, the sort of energy that the centre has. Um, you know, we've got this space that we all use together. Every time you came in in the morning, you know, you'd, you'd have a whole load of lectures and one might be on neuroscience, one might be on ecology, another might be on chemistry and you're just all these really cool ideas kind of coming at you. It was fast, it was fast, um, it was intense, but it was really good. You really get an appreciation of like, everyone's subject and what's going on in each of them. You're continually doing something new, something different, meeting new people, reading everything. And that allows you to kind of change the way that you think about what you've studied before and you kind of start to think about how you might be able to apply something from one area to another area. I'm looking at network evolution <laughs> and kind of how the dynamics of a network can kind of affect that process. So a lot of complex systems can be modelled as networks, <laughs> so interacting components. And what I want to understand is how those change over time to fulfil certain functions. I'm modelling HIV and TB, and I'm modelling them, um, modelling the population as networks and how the diseases then travel across those networks. Looking at different trading algorithms, so it's the idea of setting up trading markets with um, computers trading alongside humans, and looking at whether that makes um, markets more robust or more volatile. has given me opportunities and developed me as a scientist in a way that no other centre would have done. Every week you're getting new ideas about where you could possibly take things in the future because of course you don't want to just do a PhD and then think, what do I do next? I don't know. You want to be able to continue and, and build up a research career. For the future that's really important because you need people to run research groups that you know they're enthusiastic about what they do, they've been working on it for a long time and this kind of puts you ahead of the game. I think what we're trying to do is to produce leaders who, future leaders who will not just move science forward in one field, but can also move all of science and engineering forward. I just marvel at the fact that it's so successful. Uh, the people who designed it and had maybe had the vision, and maybe they're less surprised that, it's, that it works so well. It's very, very ambitious and challenging, but I think we are beginning to do that.